everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins, and today I want to discuss a very important topic, and that has to do with having high blood sugar levels and the top seven signs that you might have it. Now, what is crazy is a few of these signs or symptoms that I mentioned today, two or three of them I actually had in the past, and I one of the biggest reasons I became obsessed with healthy blood sugar levels, and I'll tell you why even in a minute. An even crazier story is that I was once dating a woman, and she was actually in great shape, and she was healthy, and yet she started having some of these signs that I'm going to mention today, and I told her to go to the doctor and do a full blood test, and guess what? She ended up actually becoming diabetic. She was type 1 diabetes, not even type 2, and this was only at the age of 31. So please listen carefully today and don't think like, oh, geez, this is going to be a boring topic because you need to know what is high and unhealthy blood sugar levels. And this is because it's linked to a lot of issues, obviously diabetes, which I'm sure most people know. However, most people do not know that almost 15% of the population has diabetes and double that percentage have pre-diabetes. And it's one of the fastest growing diseases, all right, in the world, especially in children, all right? So this is important if you have a child as well. Another problem is linked to, you know, having high blood sugar levels and memory loss and the shrinking of your brain and also Alzheimer's disease. In fact, some experts call this type three diabetes. Um, another problem is muscle loss as well as fat gain and not just regular weight gain. It's actually like body fat gain, especially in the belly. Fatigue is a big issue. Poor sleep is another one. Things like depression, anxiety, and ADHD, ADD. Also having hormonal imbalances in both men and women, which is linked to hair loss. Also bad skin such as wrinkles, um, pimples, and psoriasis, and so forth. Erectile issues in men. Shrinking of breast tissue in women. So it's not just for men that are dealing with these problems. Also joint pain and inflammation. Well, you get a lot of problems. And also, believe it or not, elevated cholesterol and blood pressure levels. Again, lots of other problems, and basically, it's accelerated aging from head to toe, inside and out, when you have elevated, constant blood sugar levels. And this is why I always tell people to try and eat healthy, and more so exercise, all right? And especially gain as much muscle as possible, because you'll absorb and utilize that sugar much better when you have extra muscle and exercising daily. But I mention all this because most of us, again, do not even have or know that we have high blood sugar levels, especially during the day. And you know what? I'll be honest with you, a simple blood test is kind of worthless in my opinion, okay? What really matters is having what's called a continuous glucose monitor, which is attached to your body, like in your arm or whatever. And it's letting you know all day long what is causing high blood sugar levels. Remember, food is just one cause of high blood sugar levels, poor sleep, which I deal with, stress, which we all deal with, a lot of medications and drugs and so forth all negatively affect your blood sugar levels. So the blood tests, is just a small indicator. And since most of us do not have a glucose monitoring device attached to us all day, so allow me to at least give you the top seven signs that you have or might have high blood sugar levels so you can at least help fix it right away. And these go in no particular order of or importance. So please listen to all of them. Now, one of the biggest problems is fatigue, and I think we can all feel tired from time to time because maybe due to lack of stress or due to stress or lack of sleep, but keep in mind that your body, especially your brain and muscles, consume the most amount of sugar and glucose, and thus, um, having blood sugar problems, you'll be tired, all right, mentally as well as physically. And yes, this is one big reason we are tired as we get older because we're not utilizing sugar very well. Another problem is frequent urination, and this is one of the problems I had earlier. This is because too much sugar in the blood puts more stress on your kidneys, causing you to urinate more often. Another one is increase in thirst. And again, this plus the frequent, frequent urination is what caused me and my doctor to actually do a blood test on me because they thought maybe I had blood sugar or high blood sugar diabetes. However, this just actually for me, it turned out be the fact that I just drink so much water even as a child so all that water and going to the bathroom was just normal for me but may not be normal for you because you may not be drinking as much water as me another problem is headaches so the thirst and frequent urination can typically cause dehydration and thus headaches is one of the main side effects and this also leads to fatigue another problem is reoccurring infections you see constant high blood sugar levels can weaken your immune system, your immune response, thus making it harder for your body to fight off some of those infections that we deal with that normally your body can fix, thus making them more frequent, the infections more lingering, more serious. Typical ones you might not know of is having yeast infections or candida or UTIs, um, urinary tract infections. 
Another problem is having high blood sugar levels is poor circulation. And this is a big one because it can negatively affect your eyes and thus causing a blurred vision. Also tingling sensations in your hands and feet, which some of us deal with, especially as you get older, and also erectile problems in men and also slow healing sores is also another problem due to poor circulation. Another big issue is confusion and poor memory. Of course, listen, as we get older, memory tends to not be as good. All right, now one major cause of this is due to having elevated blood sugar levels and your body and your brain is not able to process and utilize the glucose and the sugar that we eat. Now confusion, all right, not just memory problems, but confusion is another issue. And this is what I actually noticed in my own father when he was hospitalized for maybe a week years ago when he had some, some when he had fallen. Now, every time he had one of those, you know, junky, high sugar, unhealthy hospital foods, he literally became confused, like within a few minutes. Um, he didn't know where he was or why was he there at the hospital? What's going on, he would say. And then he kept trying to like literally put his clothes on because he said, I need to get back to work, which he was retired for many years. So again, that was a big thing. And I told the hospital to, hey, watch what he eats, but that's a whole nother topic. But at this point, you might consider seeing a doctor if you have any of these issues. Now, I'm not saying you're going to be diabetic like my friend she was, but it's something to keep an eye on. And again, you just go to the doctor and just do a blood test, all right? More importantly, please at least make sure you make important lifestyle changes to help promote healthy blood sugar levels and more importantly, insulin sensitivity so you don't have to deal with all these negative problems that I mentioned earlier in today's topic, especially as we get older. Now, again, I've listed very simple and proven ways below this video, all right, below this video in the description area. So please take a look, all right? Please don't be like other people who ignores this topic or they quote unquote passively listen, all right? There are very simple and easy ways that I've mentioned and listed below in the description area. Again, exercise is one of the greatest things to do, not just eating healthy. 